Hello everyone. This is the fifth part of introduction to Victor Sosan 8.1 and I hope that you go back to trigonometric and study it again lesson 5.4. We will use it in this lesson. Today our session is a revision session about representing and operating with vectors and the vocabulary which we talk, vector, initial, terminal point, standard, position, direction, magnitude, all of these and of course with these vocabularies, that's what we talk last three days or four days. Um, if you need any question, let me know about the meaning of each one of them. Now this was your homework, draw a vector diagram of n plus 2n. Did anyone discover that we have a mistake here? It's not a mistake, but I put the wrong answer for you, so I want to see who really solved the question. This is the wrong answer. Let's see why. Let's see why. It's a wrong answer. Okay. So we have n plus 2m. You can notice that here m is doubled. It's multiplied by 2. It means if we have m, if you use the ruler, and you find m is, for example, 3, 2m will be 6. In this case, you should extend it to 6. Be careful, please. OK? So then I will translate it up. I drag it up to have n plus 2. And this is not enough space. This is n with 2m. Be careful with the lines with the distance, the magnitude, because you should be so accurate using the ruler. This means that this one here, let's go back. OK. We should extend it a little bit. And of course, you are using the ruler, so it will be easy. So the result of now is this line. What do you think? Which one is correct? Of course, C is the correct answer. C is the correct answer. Why? This is not 2m, of course. Can you see this is as 2m, the distance, I mean, the, the magnitude? It's clear that it's m itself. If you use the ruler, you know it's m, not 2m. OK? So I put this in purpose so you can, I can tell now who solved it, who didn't solve, who's awake with us. Let's start now, since this is a revision session, Let's start with the first exercises. I'll give you one minute to try to solve it, and then we'll discuss. Ready? Start. The question is, are the following quantities vectors of the scalars? This is our first lesson. It was the first part, right? Go back to video number one you will find that we found a difference or a, we distinguish between vector and scalar. We said the vector should contain direction, the scalar not. The cost of a theater ticket, of course, we have no direction here. Uh, the, current in, the current in a river, of course, we have a direction. So it's a vector. The initial flight path from Houston to Dallas, of course, we have the speed as amount, as magnitude, and we have a direction from two. So this is vector. The last one, the population of the world, we don't have a vector here. We don't have a direction, it's just a number. So, a number with a unit, of course, so it's a scalar. Now, who has the correct answers? Give yourself, please, a mark out of four. And when we finish this session, I want to see how many marks did you take. Let's see. The second question, ready? Okay, two minutes, start. Did you finish? The speed, scalar, the velocity, and the magnitude of the force required to push a pumpkin off a band. Okay, we have a direction here. We are pushing it in one but, so this is a vector. And the last one, the acceleration. The acceleration is a vector also. So give yourself a mark out of four again. Let's see how much did you take. Okay, exercise three. If a child pos 
poles slid through the snow with a force of 15 newton exerted at an angle of 38 above the horizontal okay this is another way to present to represent the angle 38 above the horizontal be careful i'll give you one minute to draw the vector okay Finish. What's the first step? Do you remember? Okay, we have 50 Newton. Can we draw 50? That's a huge number, right? We said we should have a scale. Do you remember? The scale for each one centimeter. How many Newtons you want? It's up to you again. I will choose 10. 10 in Newton. I have 50 in the question. So 50, how many centimeters? Just divide 50 divided by 10, the answer will be 5 centimeters. Of course, drawing 5 is easier than drawing 50. This is about the magnitude. Now, about the direction, 38 above the horizontal, this is the horizontal, do you remember? We said this is the horizontal. But he didn't say that it's on the horizontal. He said 38 above the horizontal. This means this is the angle, 38. So I will erase down this is not the vector will be directly this one clear this is 38 degree now what's the missing thing yes you should bring a ruler you should find the distance here the magnitude it should be equal five centimeter be careful it should be five centimeter who we'll solve it okay i need three marks for this put yourself out of a three the scale number one the angle number two and the magnitude number three do you put a mark done fourth question a vector u has a magnitude of 16 and a direction of zero Another way to represent an angle, direction of zero means what? Excellent, it's horizontal, it means on the east, good, in the x-axis. And the vector V has a magnitude of 12 under the direction of 90 degree. 90 means what? Excellent, north. Find the direction and the magnitude of U plus V to the nearest whole values. Let's see. Before we continue, I need to find the scale. I can't represent 16 and 12, it's too big. So if you want, for each one centimeter, what do you want? How many? Uh, he didn't mention here meter or kilometers, it's up to you, whatever you want. Let's see, this is meter, okay? Let's say this is meter. Okay, so for each one centimeter, what about four meter, for one centimeter? I have 16 meters. Sixteen meters. This means how many? Sixteen divided by four. The answer will be four centimeter. And I told you, if you remember, that you should use the same scale. This means for the second one again, I have one centimeter for four meters, and we have a twelve now meters. How many centimeter? Twelve divided by four. The answer is a three centimeter. Clear? This is about the scales, the magnitude. Now, we want to draw the vectors. Let's see. The first one, the first one is on the direction of zero. This is the direction of zero. Okay, I'll make it clear for you. What's the length for it? Yes, it's four, excellent. This is four and on this direction. The second one, is on 90 degree 90 it means on the north this is 90 clear this is the second one what's the length of it okay what is that three excellent so he said that this is u before we forget this is u and this is v just a name of the vector okay these are the magnitudes be careful so what is A plus B? 
another color a plus b what about the green okay this is a plus b what you have to do is just to find it by a ruler or in this case i can use the pythagorean right no need to find it by a ruler by pythagorean we know this is c so c square equal a square v square let me erase it do you remember the Pythagorean? Good. That's why I told you you have to memorize the trigonometry because we will use it. C squared equal A square V A square plus B square. And in this case A and B are U and V. It's fine. So C square equal four square which is sixteen plus B square which is nine. The answer is twenty five. Is this a C? No, excellent. This is C square. This means I can write it here. C is the square root of 25, so it will be 5. If you use the, the ruler to find it, I'll make it clear for you so you know study. It will be easy. 25, this means 5. So if you have a ruler and you can find the answer, the length or the magnitude, it should be equal C. How is that? This is out of three marks. Okay? Let's go to the other question. A victor you had, okay, this is the same question. I just wrote it here so you can. Uh, okay, we have a difference here. Did you notice here? U minus V was the difference. It was u plus v, now u minus v. So the first one, again, with the same scale, it's up to you. We said the v or the u vector equal 16 over 4, it was 4, if you remember. And v is 12 over 4, which is 3, the magnitude. But here we have minus. Do you remember that we have to rewrite it? u plus negative v. Do you remember this? Now, let's draw one by one to see the difference. U is on the zero direction. This means this is U on the same, no change, because it's still positive. This is U with the magnitude equal four, clear? The second one now we have, we don't have V, we have minus V. This means it was up, if you remember, right? Now minus, it means it will go down. With the same value, three, the magnitude. Do you see the difference between them? The first one, it was up, now this is down. Now, the A minus B is this point. Can you tell me what's the value? Excellent, it's five, the same. U square plus V square, let me write it. C, this is C, equal C square, equal 3 square plus 4 square. This is the Pythagorean. Plus, so it will be 25, use the calculator. C is the square root of a 25, it's 5. Of course, you can use a ruler and you will have the same answer. I hope it's easy. Okay. Now, I want you to find, to try the resultant of 15 meter per second west and 28 meter per second south. I will give you two minutes. Consider this is V, a minute. This is V and this is U. It's up to you. Yeah. Try, I will come back in one minute. Done? Okay, let's start first to find the scale. And the scale here, the easiest thing, if you write for each one centimeter, 10 meters.
10 meters. I have the first one 15 meters, so 15 divided by 10, it will be 1.5 centimeter. And again, I have to use the same scale for the second one, so it will be 28, sorry, 1 centimeter one centimeter represent 10 meters. We have a 28 meters divided by 10. The answer will be 2.8 centimeter. So finished from the magnitude. Who have the right answer? Who has the right answer? Excellent. OK. Let's now represent them. Then I will find the resultant. The first one is 15. West. Where's West? Good. 15, it's 1.5. Do you remember? So I will start from the origin. 1.5. This is West. It's very simple. West. He didn't say North of West or whatever, just West. And yes, you will have easy questions like this. Math is not complicated. You know that, right? You don't. Okay. Let's see. So this is 1.5. The second one is 28 south. South means down, 28, 2.5. It will be a little bit longer. Use the ruler, please. This is 2.58, sorry. This is uh, V, we said, and this is U. What's the resultant? We have here, do you remember this? Tail on tail, or uh, initial on initial? Which one I have to use? Which method? Excellent, the parallelogram, and in this case, the parallelogram is rectangle. Let me use another color. Rectangle. This is the rectangle, because we have 90 degree here, right? So everyone will be, every angle will be 90. So where is the resultant? We didn't finish, we should find the resultant. Yes, excellent, it's here, the diagonal. How can I find this? Again, consider this is C. What do you have to do? Excellent, the Pythagorean. If this is 2.8, this should be 1.5. So C square equal 2.8 all square plus 1.5 square. And you will find it by the calculator then you will have C equal the square root of whatever is the answer. You can find it. This is calculator work. Do you need any question? Can you continue? Good. Let's start with the second one. I will give you one minute to try, then I will solve it. Done? No? Let's see. OK, so we have uh, 2.3 meter or each second square. Why we have a square here? It should be square here. Oh, why we have a square? What does this mean? Acceleration, excellent, acceleration. So 2.3 west and 4.2 north. Do we need a scale here? No, we don't need scale. Why? The numbers are so small, no need. So west, this is west. Go directly to the west. OK, let me choose a pen. What color? Orange? OK. What is the magnitude here? 2.3. Good. And we have 4.2 north. This is north. 4, it should be a little bit longer than the other one. It's 4.2. And again, we have the initials together. This means I have to go to parallelogram again. So continue it. It will be, what's this? Excellent. This is a rectangle. Now, the resultant here is this diagram. How can I find it if this is C? Excellent. Pythagorean. So C squared equal to 0.3 square plus 4.2 square. And by calculator, then the square root of the answer, you will have 
the magnitude of C. And this is the resultant. Easy? Can you tell me what's the direction here? We didn't find the direction. The resultant is a vector, and we should find a, a, a direction. How can I find it? OK. Good, excellent. I will use sine and cosine. Bravo. Did we find it in the previous question? So we have to go back. Because the resultant is vector. And the vector should contain a direction, right? The direction is an angle in this case. An angle, you can find this one or this one. Which one is easier? You can use it, OK? I will use the lower one here. I have this is 2.3, and this is what? Uh, 4.2. In this case, what you have to do? Excellent. You can find sine, cosine, tan, whatever you want to find the angle. Which one do you think it's easier? It's up to you. You want to do is tan? Tan. OK. Tan. Where's the pen? Tan. Consider this theta. Tan theta. Do you remember what's the rule of tan? No? What's the rule of tan? Yes, it's opposite over adjacent. Is that correct? Yes, opposite over adjacent. So tan theta equals the opposite is, this is the opposite of theta, 4.2 over the adjacent is, this is one is the adjacent, 2.3. Now, you can find this by calculator, or you can keep it, but I need to find theta. Do you remember how to find theta? What do you have to do? Think again. Excellent. I have to find the inverse. So theta equal tan inverse. Do you remember this sign inverse? Of whatever you have here. 4.2 over 2.3. This is calculator work. Go to find it, please. OK? I will lift it for you so you can at least work with this. OK? Let's go back to the, origin, to the previous question. Where is it? This one. We didn't find the direction again. What do I have to do? Choose an angle. What, what, which one you want? What about this one? Consider it as beta. OK? And we have, this is uh, the, di the dimension here, or the magnitude is 2.8. And this one is 1.5. Or you can use down. It's up to you. OK, let's use down because it's a little bit more clear. OK. Another color, this one. Let's use this as beta. So we know that this is the opposite of it, 1.5, and this is the adjacent. This is opposite. Sorry. Opposite, and this is adjacent. And in this case, I can find it. I can find the angle beta. Again, tan. Good. I will write it here for you. Tan. Beta equal opposite again over adjacent. The opposite is 1.5. The adjacent is 28, 2.8. And what you have to do now to find beta, the inverse. Excellent. Tan inverse of 1.5 over 2.8. How is it now? Again, calculator work, and you will find the angle. I guess it's easy. If you need any question about this, please let me know. OK. So now we finish our lesson today. I hope you enjoy it. We revise everything we took 
And I need you at home, please go back to the video again. Start solving alone without looking at the answer. See you next time. Thank you so much.